Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to solve first order, first degree differential equations. There are many methods for solving such equations, but here we will solve them using the method of variable separable. This method can be applied only when the variables x and y can be separated. As the name suggests, what if we are given a differential equation dy by dx and we are able to separate the x terms and y terms. Let us say the x terms are the function fx and the y terms are the function gy. Then we take gy with dy and fx with dx and integrate which gives us the solution. This would be better explained using examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve dy by dx is equal to 2x upon y. You can see 2x is the function of x and 1 by y is the function of y. We'll take the y on the left, keep it with dy, take the dx on the right, we get y dy is equal to 2x dx. Now, We'll integrate both the sides. We'll get integral y dy is equal to integral 2x dx plus the constant of integration c dash. Simplify, we'll get y square minus 2x square minus 2c dash is equal to 0. If we take minus 2c dash as c, the solution is y square minus 2x square plus c is equal to 0. In the second example, we are asked to solve dy by dx is equal to sine inverse x. You can see we have only one function of x. We will take the dx on the right hand side and then we have dy is equal to sine inverse x dx. Integrate both the sides, we will get integral dy is equal to integral sine inverse x dx plus the constant of integration c. This gives us y is equal to x sine inverse x plus root of 1 minus x square plus c as the solution. In example 3, we are asked to solve dy by dx is equal to y square plus 1. Only one function of y is there. We bring it on the left. We get dy by y square plus 1 is equal to dx. Integrate both the sides. We will get tan inverse y is equal to x plus c. Take tan on both the sides. We will get y is equal to tan of x plus c. This is the solution. In example 4, we have e to the power y dy by dx is equal to 1 by x. Now, e to the power y will be kept with dy and we take dx on the right hand side. So, we have dx by x. We will integrate both the sides. We will get e to the power y is equal to log x plus c and this is the solution. In example 5, we have differential equation dy by dx is equal to yx. We will bring the y on the left, we get dy by y. We will take dx on the right, we get x dx. Integrate both the sides, we will get log y is equal to x square by 2 plus c dash, the constant of integration. If we take exponential on both the sides, we will get y is equal to e to the power x square by 2 plus c dash. Now this is made up of two terms e to the power x square by 2 into e to the power c dash which we take as c and the solution becomes y is equal to c e to the power x square by 2. In question number 6, you can see uh, differential equation is dy by dx is equal to 2x cubed minus 2x plus 1 which is just a function of x. So, we will take dx on the right hand side. We have 2x cubed minus 2x plus 1 dx. And dy is on the left hand side. If we integrate, solution comes out to be y is equal to x to the power 4 by 2 minus x square plus x plus c. In example 7, we have differential equation as x to the power 4 dy by dx plus y to the power 4 is equal to 0. We will take y to the power 4 on right hand side and then bring y to the power 4 below dy. So, we get dy by y to the power 4 and bring x to the power 4 down on the right we get minus dx by x to the power 4. 
take it on the left hand side we get dy by y to the power 4 plus dx upon x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Integrate. Now when we integrate, we will get x to the power minus 3 by minus 3 plus y to the power minus 3 by minus 3 is equal to some constant of integration, call it c dash. We will substitute c as minus 3 c dash. So this is the solution. Come to question number 8 here. We are given dy by dx is equal to x square y. Along with that, there is a condition that when x is 0, y is 2. So, we are asked to find the solution. We will again separate the variables. So, we will take y with dy. We get dy by y is equal to x square dx. Integrate, we get log y is equal to x cube by 3 plus c. Now, use these conditions. So, when x is 0, and y is equal to 2, c becomes log 2. If you put it in this solution, a particular solution becomes log y is equal to x cubed by 3 plus log of 2. To put it in a compact way, take this log 2 on the left hand side. We will get log y minus log 2 is equal to x cubed by 3. Combine these two terms, we get log y by 2 is equal to x cubed by 3. And if we take the exponential, we will get y by 2 is equal to e to the power x cube by 3 or y is equal to 2 e to the power x cube by 3. This is the solution. In question number 9, we are given a differential equation x dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. And we are given a condition that y value is 1 when x is 1. We will first solve the differential equation. On separating the variables, we get dy by y is equal to minus dx by x. Integrate both the sides, we get log y is equal to minus log of x plus a constant of integration c dash. We can always write it as log of c. c dash is equal to log of c. This is just to put the answer in a compact way. Take the log x on the left hand side, we will get log of x plus log of y is equal to log of c. If you take the exponential, we will get x y is equal to c. Now, we were given a condition that y value is 1 when x is 1. So, when both x and y are 1, c becomes 1. So, the particular solution is x y is equal to 1. We have put the value of c. In the last example, we are asked to solve x dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 2 x squared tan y. You can see that the terms can be separated. All the x terms can be brought to right hand side and y terms will be taken on the left. So we get dy by tan y is equal to 1 minus 2 x squared upon x. Now we will integrate both the sides. For integration I have put tan y as sin y upon cos y. And then use substitution. And right hand side I write as 1 by x minus 2x dx plus the constant of integration c. On simplifying the answer comes out to be sin y is equal to c x e to the power minus x squared. For explanation I have used examples some of them from George F. Simons second edition. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be doing homogeneous differential equations.